Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about using the table tool, which is under in, in location changes from from uh, variations of Corel from six seven. They're in different spots, but this is your table tool, and you just grab it and you you make a table, and you can make it you know three three down and four across, and then you just go and make it if you want your each one of those to be six inches then you would just make it 24 and for some reason my computer will add like a three thousandths and we want them two inches tall so we're gonna make them six by 24 so that gives us a or 24 by six so that gives us a two by six uh, tab now the the advantage of doing it this way is that each one of these are individual lines and if you go to a range and break table apart and then go to a range and ungroup all each one of these is a line in the advantage to that the laser is only going to have to cut it one time so you could cut out these 12 squares with just a few cuts instead of if you did it this way and put your name tags real close together it's going to cut out all four sides and it's going to cut out that line again. Now, the disadvantage in doing it this way, let's say you're making name tags, would be to get it where uh, your names or anything are in the center of the page or in the center of your block. So what I've done tonight, let's grab these, get them a little closer. I just made up three names and we're going to zoom in here a little bit so this box is my six inch by two I'm gonna hit P on the keyboard I'm gonna collect Bill Smith I'm gonna lasso it all and I've got my snap to object on board snap to so it'll snap right to it go Doug Green P box P and you might be a little bit confused but we'll just put it here let's say you're doing all 12 and then just grab both these and hit P and then just take Greg Stark and let's put it up here and it'll click to it now what I did to get rid of my individual boxes let's set our nudge factor on let's say nine inches and I, I, I put a tab here if you had them all filled up you wouldn't be able to grab you wouldn't know which one you're grabbing but if you put a tab here and go down nine inches and then just delete these boxes and then take this and go back up nine inches now then you would just ungroup and get rid of your little tab and then that way you could engrave these and cut 12 or how many else you want out and it would save you a lot of time in cutting now normally on a name tag I would want rounded edges so I don't know if this would really work for a name tag but you know it might be you're making labels for doors or cabinets uh, that don't need rounded corners this would work perfectly and save you a lot of cut time hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching